Hello and welcome to Outlook Money's Investment Made Easy podcast series. The series is spearheaded by ICICI Prudential Asset Management Limited. The topic of today's episode is low risk ETFs. I'm Hika Shah from Outlook Money and your host for this session. With volatility not abating, more and more people are looking at low risk investment products. ETFs are sometimes considered low on risk, but is that true? If yes, how do they work and what are the options that investors can look at without sacrificing on the returns today we will try to seek answer to these questions and many others related to low risk etfs i am delighted to welcome mr chintan hariya head product development and strategy icici prudential amc who will give us valuable insights on low risk etfs and answer all the relevant queries welcome sir to this episode Hello, Mika. Hello to everyone listening on this podcast. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So let's begin with our first question. Uh, it's been a volatile year for the stock market. Could you please explain to our listeners how to navigate the current market volatility? So if we look at uh, equity markets in general and equity as an asset class, they are more volatile than debt or maybe even gold. and uh, generally if you look at the reason why investors get worried about equities is because there is a lot of movement which happens up and down which is essentially volatility and uh, that scares investors however the nature of equity markets is such that uh, with uh, emotions of the participants and investors the markets can sway between optimism and pessimism which essentially brings volatility and in fact volatility or whenever there is a correction in the markets that becomes a good investing time for investors so we would urge investors not to be worried about volatility in fact volatility can be your friend if you have your asset allocation in place and you know exactly how to go about uh, managing that volatility through a, a balanced approach in terms of the investments that you do thank you definitely sir uh, my next question is sir that can etfs help investors deal with this volatility so etfs in general uh, are instruments which have a diversified underlying portfolio so if you typically look at the large cap etfs the low vol etfs uh, they have uh, around 30 to 50 stocks and uh, that diversification also reduces the volatility versus say you investing in two or three stocks on your own or let's say five or 10 stocks on your own a diversified portfolio of 30 to 50 stocks uh, which is there in an etf definitely helps in diversification of risk there are concentration norms in terms of how much percentage of a particular stock can be in the etf and in diversified universe if you look at it that diversification at a stock level and sector level also helps reduce the overall volatility of the portfolio so from an investor standpoint investing in an etf in general is a low volatile way a high diversification compared to they investing on their own in the markets and in the etf there is a rule based method based uh, creation or construction of the etf index which also helps in investors knowing exactly where their money will go in terms of the rules and will allow them to plan ahead in terms of how they want to portfolio create or create the portfolio keeping the risk and reward in mind thank you so sir is there any low risk etf available in the indian market so if we look at etfs compared to individual stock investing because they are diversified they become lower risk in general however if we look at specifically risk as defined and measured by standard deviation then a portfolio of stocks which is less volatile and hence there has a less standard deviation makes a portfolio like the icici prudential low vol etf or uh, any low volatility fund a good mix a good fit for the investors in terms of a low risk product because essentially you are taking stable stocks which have demonstrated over the last 6 to 12 months stability relative to their own price performance and market and which basically allows you to create a portfolio or invest in an etf which is less risky relative to the market as measured by the standard deviation at a portfolio level so can you please tell our listeners that how do low risk etfs work 
So if you look at low risk ETFs, uh, let's say low volatility as an example, you are picking up typically 30 stocks out of the top 100 names which are in large caps. So one, you're restricting your universe to large caps, which are in general, well-researched stocks and which have lower volatility at a portfolio level in general. And if you look at from a investor standpoint, you're picking up the 30 least volatile stocks out of the top 100 large cap names, which allows the investor to participate in low volatility or low wall stocks, which are more stable. This index gets rebalanced every quarter. And that also allows, suppose a stock becomes more volatile, that will go out over the last six to 12 months if a stock has become more volatile. So through this mechanism of rebalancing every quarter, which happens, you basically have a portfolio which will see small minimal changes. It will not see too much of churn, but it will at all points of time uh, after the rebalance try to have the lowest volatile or the most stable 30 stock portfolio out of the top 100 names. This is exactly how the low wall ETFs add a low risk product to your portfolio. Thank you. And how does one select low risk ETFs? So low risk ETFs, uh, typically, like I said, uh, the composition of the ETF uh, is what something which matters. Risk can be defined in many ways, right? Uh, a portfolio drawdown risk, how much of a portfolio can you lose? How much more volatile the portfolio is? That's the portfolio standard deviation. Risk can be measured in different ways. But from an investor, to make it very simple, uh, risk increases if you're going into sector or thematic. Risk decreases if you are in a diversified portfolio, which has multiple sectors across market caps or specifically in large cap, if it's something is there. So large cap portfolios will have lesser risk compared to mid cap, small cap portfolio because mid cap, small cap can be more volatile. And so from an investor standpoint, a large cap portfolio, which is diversified across sectors, is less volatile compared to a multi cap portfolio, which has large, mid and small and uh, which has concentration in a particular sector. So from an investor standpoint, investors need to basically be cognizant of the fact that having a large cap bias and having a multi-sector low volatile product will help reduce the overall volatility of your portfolio. And that's where when you're choosing an ETF itself based on your risk appetite, you need to see how much of the portfolio is in large cap, mid cap, small cap. The more the portfolio is in large cap in general in the long run, the most stable it will be in general. And if you look at from a overall portfolio perspective, the portfolio is divided into multiple sectors rather than being concentrated in any one sector. That also ensures that multiple sectors at different points of time have different drivers. So you will end up having a combination of sectors which will basically lead to a low risk product ultimately in your basket. So being large capish and diversified in sectors is one way to select a low risk product or a low risk ETF in your portfolio. And the low volatility products are meant to be just that. They are diversified in terms of sectors and they choose the most stable portfolio out of the large cap basket. Thank you. Definitely, sir. Uh, do low risk ETFs come with lower returns? So that's something which uh, one can look at it this way that uh, one, India in general as a country is invested less in equities plus the worry of greed and fear in equities means that when markets are doing very well investors invest a lot more money in the markets at higher levels when markets do badly investors do not invest as much money in equity markets as they should because markets are cheap but they are afraid that markets may become cheaper so this greed and fear and the emotional uh, emotional way of investing uh, kind of uh, leads to investors not getting the full benefit of equity market investing. And hence, from an investor standpoint, they should not look at whether a low volatile, low risk product is generating a lesser risk to me in terms of the returns that I'm getting. But they should look at it that it is a way of allowing me to peacefully invest for the long run in equity markets in a sensible way, which will allow me to participate in the equity markets for a long run without having too much worry on the volatility part. So you will participate in equity markets, which itself in the long run has the tendency to potentially give a 
higher return than fixed income instruments yes the volatility is high there may be years where there is negative returns but if you look at it from a long term standpoint your best chance of making wealth or creating wealth in equities is if you invest for the long term and if you have to invest for the long term uh, in equity markets via the low risk product you will basically remain invested and that's the most important thing most of the people lose out because they do not stay invested uh, because volatility fears them out of the market when markets fall you tend to take out money from the market and that is where you don't get the full benefit of the wealth creation that happens in equities to avoid this greed and fear and emotional biases that human beings have the low risk products are a good way to remain invested in the markets with less volatility you will be less stressed and essentially you will be able to participate in the markets which itself is uh, probably going to help you create wealth rather than taking out money at the wrong time and then destroying your wealth so that's one advantage you have with low risk etfs and that's why i don't see low risk etfs as generating lower return because we are not comparing low risk etf returns with equity returns we are basically comparing or allowing the mindset of an investor to change towards remaining invested for the long run through low low volatile products low risk products which helps them to ultimately create wealth in the equity markets thank you that was a detailed explanation sir my very last question for you for this episode is staggering your investments is one strategy to lower portfolio volatility is it possible to make a staggered investment in etfs so if you are uh, basically investing through your uh, broker portal or your brokerage online or otherwise you can set up a systematic plan or an scp some brokerage terminals allow that some brokerage online allow that that you can have a set monthly frequency to invest that depends on the broker that you use for executing your etfs it is very much possible and otherwise also it's very easy these days for people to invest so on a systematic basis whenever you earn uh, every month if you get a salary and you want to invest uh, your savings you can do that systematically as well so there are platforms or brokerages which on their terminals or platforms will allow you to have systematic equity plans in etfs that's possible and you can yourself also uh, stagger your investments over a period of time in fact doing scps or systematically investing in etfs for the long run is a good way to basically stay away from stress and participate in the markets in the long run the important point is staying invested being patient and allowing equities to grow over a longer period of time through the power of compounding you will see the wealth creation if you invest over one year two years and expect miracles in equity markets that's something which generally does not happen so be patient equity markets will basically reflect how india as a country grow grows and uh, it should in the long run reflect the potential of india as a economic superpower so if you look at from a investor standpoint they should have a balanced approach towards their investing they should have an asset allocation in place and through systematically investing in etfs they can accumulate and increase their equity holdings to ultimately create wealth through the growth of india in this journey over the next 5 to 10 years uh, that they remain invested in india and even more the longer you invest the better it is thank you so much thank you so much sir for joining us today our listeners will surely benefit from the insights and details discussed in this episode with this we come to the end of today's episode of investment made easy podcast listeners we hope you have enjoyed our conversation today please don't forget to share your comments and feedback on this episode you can also share your suggestions and questions at editor at the rate outlookmoney.com we will be back with our next edition soon Till then, stay safe, stay invested, and keep following Outlook Money, your favorite personal finance m- magazine. Thank you so much.